welcome back to the channel and in this video i want to do some testing with rockets uh, more precisely i want to do speed testing because i want to know how fast these rockets are actually going because when you look at it that actually doesn't seem very fast that that seems like a reasonable enough speed that you could probably race a rocket with a vehicle and that's kind of what i want to end up doing is um i want to make a vehicle that goes just about as fast as these rockets and i want to drive next to a rocket as if we're in a uh like a head head to head uh race i think it'll be kind of fun the only thing i wish the rockets didn't have such a huge uh bullet drop or i guess rocket drop because it's a rocket so what my plan is uh first i actually want to do another test i want to see if rockets can trigger sensors because if the rockets can actually trigger a sensor then i could theoretically create a rocket train or like a domino effect of rockets where i launch one rocket and then that triggers a sensor to launch another rocket and then it could just keep going down this line i'm just gonna have a really really strange looking build right now but it's for testing purposes all right we'll put this distance so it doesn't really matter the distance as long as it's uh gonna detect the rocket okay so what i can do is uh put another rocket and this is gonna be kind of my proof of concept here this distance sensor will trigger this rocket so will this rocket trigger that distance sensor let's see okay that's not a good sign it might be too soon the rocket like there could be a chance that the rocket actually kind of spawns like a couple of feet in front so let's just move these down here all right there we go Oh, no, that doesn't look like it's happening, does it? I mean, that it is going right in front of it, right? That looks like it's going right in front of it. Okay, you know, here's a, here's a much easier way to do this. We're just going to make a wall of sensors, and they all are going to trigger that rocket. Okay, ready, go. All right, well, we've learned something. It may not have been what we wanted to learn, but we have more knowledge than we had a minute ago. The sensors cannot detect rockets, it appears. So my never-ending trail of rockets uh, idea is not going to happen, but I can still at least try to figure out how fast these rockets are going and uh, see if I can race them with a vehicle. Because I'm pretty sure that distance sensors can detect vehicles. So I'm planning on driving my vehicle by here, and then when my vehicle hits the start line, it fires the rocket, and then we're in a head-to-head -head race to see who's going to, uh, I don't, I don't really, I don't really know what the end goal of the race is. Probably an explosion. All right, so let's see if this works. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there and I'm going to build a vehicle that is uh, going to be suited, well suited, hopefully, for racing. So if I was a car that was going to race a rocket, uh, what would I want to be shaped like? What if I built the car kind of shaped like a rocket? You know, I don't like it would be nice to have thruster power um, just to have that rocket aesthetic. But I think that's going to make it less consistent for speed so i think i am just gonna rely on raw engine power all right i'm gonna go with racing wheels because we're gonna be racing something haven't used racing wheels in a while actually this is gonna be fun so if you couldn't tell by now i'm kind of going a little bit for somewhat of a dragster look we're gonna have spoilers we're gonna have engines and wheels <laughs> You know, like a race car. What would it be like if I had the large racing wheels in the back? Oh, that looks kind of stupid. Yeah, that actually looks... That that looks a little bit too stupid. All right, I'm just going to use standard racing wheels. I kind of feel like my ground clearance is too high for this. But how fast does this thing go? This thing goes 100 miles per hour. More than 100 miles per hour. It actually doesn't control too bad either. How am I compared to the rocket? Oh, look at that. That's actually already kind of awesome. This is a really fun. This is, this is really fun. Seeing the rocket being like such a slow object in, in relative speed is actually really fun. All right, but let me go. I want to set this at a little bit of a different angle here. There we go. That's some distance. Okay. The, the only weird thing about that is um, I'm a suit. Actually, it might not affect. Yeah, it, it should affect the, uh, the speed if I have it on an angle versus perfectly horizontal it's going to be as fast as horizontal speed because if i angle it up then obviously some of that speed is going into the upwards uh distance as well as far as my speed goes it looks like it's probably like 150 maybe okay so clearly we need some more power out of this thing so let's make it longer and add some more engines into it all right here we go racing a rocket and i'm at 160 Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> Seeing the rocket just floating in front of me like that was amazing. That was really fun. How fast was I going? Here, let's repair. Like 170. All right, you know what I need to do? I need to create an air brake. Yes, that, uh, I need to create an air brake that's going to keep me at a designated speed so I can, like, I wanted to finish, I wanted to definitively find out how fast the rocket's actually going. Right now, it's just, like, around 170 because that's how fast I was going. I don't know if I was catching up to it or if it was, uh, pulling away from me. Let me see. I right, 160. Oh, don't hit it. 170. Look at that. I think it's 170. That looked pretty spot on, didn't it? I want to do another test. See, all right, so it's ahead of me. Okay, so I don't know if, oh, I almost backspaced. I don't know if um, if I'm exceeding the speed of the rocket at all here. All right, I need to add some more stability into this thing. I need um, vertical stabilizers because when I turn, I kind of like, I want to spin out a little bit. And I also feel like getting rid of my uh, suspension. I just don't think suspension is very necessary for this build. And this is also going to allow me to get uh, lower to the ground and I think look a little bit more natural of a dragster. All right, ooh, I like the aesthetic of this. The spoiler system with these wings. The wings almost look like just uh, frames to hold up the spoiler i'm a fan of that uh okay but i need i need air brakes all right so using a speed sensor um i'm gonna duplicate the speed sensor to the other side just to, just for symmetry but uh when i am going let's say oh this is in kph all right i'm gonna switch off of mph so i'm gonna be in kph uh so i don't know what the speed is then so i'm gonna have trigger below because by default these uh air brakes are gonna be out so as long as I am under, I'm just gonna say 200 uh, kilometers an hour, then it is going to be causing these to not air brake. So once I break 200 kilometers an hour, then it is going to hold me at 200 kilometers an hour. At least that is the plan. All right, let's see if that actually works as intended. Uh, it is giving me a two, am I just too powerful? Am I too powerful? Oh, you know what I need? I need to swap these to powered tail fins because powered tail fins are going to have way, way, way more resistance. There we go. So let's see. 200 kph. All right. Now you can see it's keeping me right around 200. I'm flapping my wings here and I have decent controllability. All right. Here is my rocket launcher. So let me try to approach this thing at 200 kph and see if we are anywhere near the speed of the rocket. Okay. Here we go. Okay, a lot more than 200. Let's bump it up to 300. All right, so I'm having some uh, serious weight distribution issues. Um, my weight is way in the back right now, which makes me really likely to spin out if I just turn a little bit and I don't want to spin out and ruin everything. So I'm just going to add a little bit of weight. I mean, by a little bit, I mean a lot of weight up in the front here, just so we can get our center of mass up. Definitely way better. Okay, 300. I'm faster. Okay, so we're dialing in now. So I was definitely gaining on it. Uh, it was it was falling behind me at 300 kph. Let me just do a better test of that because I was a little all over the road because I was testing my uh, steering stability. All right, ready, go. All right, look at the speed. 300, we are there. Yeah, okay. It does seem like it's right around 300, but I am getting ahead of it. So there is that. I want to, I, I definitely want it to feel like I'm just right there with it the whole time. That time I felt like I was pulling ahead. So let's go down by uh, 20, 280. Okay, here we go. We should be able to get to 280, no problem. All right, now we're hovering around 280. Okay, you see that? 280 kilometers an hour? Is that the speed of a rocket in Trailmakers? All right, I'm going to try to have the rocket land right on top of me. So I got to come out next to it. And then eh, I got to get underneath it. Oh, no. Is it? Was it? Was it getting ahead of me there? My braking system might be causing me to have too much of a fluctuation in speed where I'm not being as consistent as I want to be. Let me actually paint it up to look kind of cooler as well. All right, this is my new design. All right, so now for the new start, I'm actually going to build like a starting line and the rocket is going to launch off the top of the starting line. So as I come underneath it, we're just going to be like one on top of the other. It's going to be pretty cool. Okay, uh, did I make this too small? I wanted enough room that I was going to be able to fit through it, but now I'm actually kind of scared I'm going to hit it. 
As you can see, it works, and that is way too much of an angle. So I've also built it so I can designate uh, specific angles for the rocket launcher. So I'm just going to set it to 10 degrees. Let's see how 10 degrees feels. I can just run through here. Okay, that feels pretty. That's going to give me some decent distance. All right, let's try it. Okay, here we go. 280 kilometer per hour race. Let's see how it goes. Oh boy, where'd it go? Where, where, where'd it go? There it is. That's pretty close. I feel like it might be slightly faster. I mean, but look at my speed. Look at, I'm like, I'm like plus minus five, but I should average out in that case, right? I should be averaging 280 kilometers an hour. I went way too far. I don't even, I can't even see where I came from. All right, there's my tire tracks. I can follow my tire tracks back. The benefits of being a trail maker, you get to follow your own trail. Man, look at that. The tracks went all the way back here. I figured they disappear by now. That's crazy. All right, so it got ahead of me. So I'm gonna change my speed to um, another five, two, eight, five. Now let's see if I will get ahead of it. And like the angle that it launches is also gonna change its, um, its overall horizontal speed, but that's the sacrifice I gotta make to have a good amount of time on the race course here. There we go. There it is. Look at it. Look at it go. Okay. I am definitely faster. I was uh, slowly, very, very slowly getting ahead of it. But this is getting crazy. If you guys ever wondered what the Trailmaker's um, rocket looks like, we're getting a really good view at it this time. All right, let's go at 283. I really, I just want it to land directly on top of me by the time we get to the end of this race. Okay, and... Ah! Uh, Dang it. First person might be actually kind of cool. All right, I'm going to do first person. Here we go. All right. There's the rocket. There it is. Oh, uh, catch it. Where did it land? I wish I could have like easily swapped out a first person there. That was so cool looking straight up and just seeing it hovering above me. But um, I think I was pulling ahead of it. It might be 280. But maybe the launch timing is off. All right, I'm doing the same exact settings, but this time I am in third person. Let's see what happens. Okay. There it is. Okay. No, that's it. That is it. I just have to be uh, in line with it, I think. All right. I think this is an easy solution. Right now, the start line isn't perfectly aligned with the grid, so I'm going at an angle. So it's harder for me to tell exactly where I need to be in relation to the ground. But if I just line this up perfectly with the grid, so it's gonna follow one of these lines, I don't even have to see the rocket. I can just look at the line. That looks pretty good. All right, so as long as I stay directly to the left of this thicker black line here, I should stay underneath the rocket. Here we go. This is looking like a pretty good trajectory. All right. Right around here. It should come down on me any second. Oh, I was slightly to the left. I wanted to land right on my seat. I don't know why. I don't know why I want to do this. It just seemed like a cool concept for a video, and it kind of is. I'm going to slow myself down by one kilometer per hour, because I feel like it's a little bit on my back end. I don't know if I'm going to regret this or not, though. 282. Two. I like that number better anyway. Oh, I need to make my steering a lot more subtle. Look at these adjustments. They're terrible. Wait, what are you doing over there? What? Why was it? It wasn't straight. We had an agreement, Rocket. You follow just to the left of that thicker black line, and I'll meet you at the end. Like, you, I didn't move you. All right, I've changed my steering, so it is way, 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 way less extreme. So I should be able to actually make adjustments without over-adjusting as much, nearly as much. All right, here we go. This looks good. Where are you? Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. No, the one kilometer per hour made a difference. It landed in front of me that time, but we have it dialed in now where I can uh, I can make my adjustments. This next one, we're, we're getting there. I want this thing to land right on top of my cockpit. <laughs> Why though? Every single time I say what my goal is, it just, I, I laugh at how ridiculous and dumb it is. All right, two, eight, three was apparently the uh, the golden zone. Okay, here we go. Oh, it went to the right this time. But there it is. Wait, it was in front of me again? Alright, there's some inconsistencies, it seems like. I mean, definitely with the angle, you can clearly see the inconsistency on that angle launch. I'm gonna try some other adjustments. I'm gonna change the speed of uh, these steering hinges to be a lot less. And 
I don't know. I just want to see what kind of difference that makes. I'm not going to go through the thing right now. I just want to see what happens. So we're trying to hover around like 283, right? Okay, no, this is... It's just worse. I thought it might dial it in a little bit better, but it just made it worse. All right, well, then in that case, let me up the speed. Okay, here we go. Just going to hope this one works well. Okay. How's that looking? It's getting ahead of me. It's totally pulling ahead. Why is it pulling ahead? All right, I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna increase my speed then. 285. Got a nice looking trajectory here. There it is. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right, that was pretty much what I wanted. Whoa, look at my windshield. Oh, what does first person look like? Oh, you don't see it from first person. Oh, this is a nice view, isn't it? This is actually a really nice view. I kind of want to try this view with the uh, with the rocket launcher. Oh, whoa, I hit it. Okay. All right, one more try here. I feel like I've set out what I've accomplished to do. Now I just want a cool race cam. There it is. There it is above me. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is so cool. Like, I... I feel like there's more that can be done with this, but I don't know what yet. So for your reference, uh, right now, my speed is at 285 kilometers an hour. And that is when the rocket gets launched at a 10 degree angle. Uh, I'm able to meet it at its landing point. So I actually, I wanna see really quick, I'm just gonna set this at zero degrees. And I just wanna see if it's going completely horizontal. It's gonna hit the ground really quick. This is gonna be super short, but um, how does it feel speed wise? It should, I think it should land in front of me from this perspective because it's not gonna be putting as much speed into the uh, upwards distance. All right, here's orbit camera. Okay, now it just pretty much lands right on top of me anyway. Yeah, so it's around 285 kilometers an hour. And I feel like 10 degrees is uh, a pretty decent a pretty decent angle to shoot at to give you some nice distance. So there you have it. That was the uh, racing a rocket experiment. We've determined the speed and we had some fun matching it with a land vehicle. So if you have any other kind of experiments or tests like this you'd like to see, uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.